All right, Chris, here we have your 24 scale Dodge Charger decaled as a Gaston County Sheriff's Department vehicle. Um, I was going to try to do the whole video without saying uh, but never mind, I just screwed that up like 10 seconds into the video. Bad habit. Proper decals, everything on here. Uh, correct unit number 694. I had to check that before I said it. 694. Correct license plate, all the decals. Did quite a bit of a little bitty detail work to the thing. Some people don't recognize that maybe. Um, if you set one side by side, one right out of the box, and this one, you'll see a lot of uh, quite a few differences. Uh, drilled the A pillar out, added your spotlight, tucked away similar to the one on your picture. Painted the rims silver; they come black um, from the box, so painted those black. Um, what else did we do to this little detail-wise? Um, made you an, an 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 antenna very specific to the one in your picture. Uh, trunk mounted there with a little spring. Um, everything fixed looks just like the picture as a matter of fact as far as the tail light take that completely off it's painted white behind there so I take the tail light completely out had to scrape it off anyway so the reverse lights would work uh, show through properly uh, take all that paint off in behind the tail light with a Dremel uh, bit take that all the way down to the bare die cast metal so it's shiny behind there a little bit of paint work behind there a little bit of paint work on the head of the tail light lens itself uh, add a little black border and everything to it uh, looks very, compare that to the picture, it looks very authentic now uh, versus just a piece of red plastic stuck in there like the like they are when they come from the box. Uh, blacked out your, the front end, painted your grill, even highlighted the little Dodge emblem with a little red slashes on the side. Fender stripes that they, well it's not really on the fender but anyway that's what they call them, the fender stripes there next to the uh, badge or two red rally stripes. Uh, covered your holes on the front bumper where you remove the push bumper and painted your recessed areas in the front fascia as the real car looks. For the interior, added a, you better see a little bit better when I turn the power on. Turn this down a little bit. Um, needs to be blown out because there are some metal shavings where I drilled out your A pillar. We'll vacuum the car out before I send it to you. Um, added a radio console to there. I told you that I added, you can probably see the coil microphone cord right there. I don't know if we can get a clear shot of the microphone itself that's mounted to the dash. Get some different lighting here, maybe. To the side, I'm not seeing it in there. But anyway, you can see it in person uh, very easily. You can see it from the back here. Maybe. Kind of see it mounted to the dash there. Um, right there. But you'll see it in person uh, very easily. Added the um, MDT to it as well. Work light for that. Also added your light built into the console. Uh, again, we'll see that once the power is turned on. A few different switches on this. You have true wigwag headlight and taillights on this. Uh, with that, offers four different wigwag speeds along with steady mode. Uh, this one here is for your siren. This is your main power switch. This here is for your headlights, taillights. You hit that one time. It turns them on uh, just for a steady headlight and taillight mode. There we go. Spin that back around there a little bit. Um, also did some painting inside the headlight lenses. Uh, you can see your amber. I uh, did some clear uh, yellow, or it's actually amber light bar paint. Uh, painted your park lights in the front. Also from the sides, um, added a little bit more realism to those as well. Let's turn these back off again. You get wigwag, different wigwag speeds with each press. You can see them flashing there. We'll turn that completely off. Go and turn your main power switch on. Kind of go over your lighting a little bit easier uh, without the headlights and taillights on. Got your blue strobes in the front uh, front fog lights. Um, each time you see those flash on each side, that's actually a triple strobe that you're seeing. My camera doesn't see it, um, but in person, that right every time this illuminates, it's actually three strobes. Um, pretty rapid strobe. That's why my camera won't pick it up. Probably the flash rates too low or high or something. One thing I am not a videographer. Interior. Uh, see your built-in light. It's in the console right here, at the very bottom. See that a little bit better, maybe. And then also a work light right here. Again, MDT with decals um, on there. You can see your microphone cord probably a little bit better now. You can see your microphone attached to the dash right there, next to the MDT. Also added a uh, radio console. Um, my camera, oh, this might not my camera over. Not going to focus very well on that. But like I said, once you see it in person, you saw the picture I saw you, so you get an idea of what you're looking at. Um, 
looks really good in person. Your kids will like that part of it, I'm sure. They seem to like the laptop in the last car. Um, blue uh, strobe light bar. Your um, fog lights and rear deck and reverse lights are all wired to the circuit board, so all of them are triple strobe. Again, each time you see the right and left side illuminate, except for this right there. Those are simultaneous flash. There's triple strobes right there. Um, if I could change the light just a little bit over top of me, I might be able to see the strobes a little bit better here and see if we can pick up the triple strobes. No, well, looks like they're just wigwagging. But anyway, they're a triple strobe. Um, white reverse lights. Again, uh, wired to the circuit board. You'll see them. I have them. You can pick up the alternating look a little bit better. Uh, your right reverse light illuminates with your passengers that are I stayed, I've stayed up too many nights too late. Um, <laughs> any other opposite, the passenger side, blue strobe flashes with the driver's side, reverse light. Like I said, it gives them a really cool wig wag pattern. You can pick that up with the camera pretty well, but like I said, again, in person, you get triple strobes out of it, so it looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and hit this here. So, again, you have your steady lights with that first press, headlights, tail lights. First time you press, it's a slow wig wag. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Turn the main power off. So you can get an idea of your flash patterns. Hit that again. All that each press does is speed the flash rate up a little bit more. And then this last one's a just like a chaotic, almost a strobe. Next press turns it completely off. So of course everything will operate uh, together. That second speed wig wags the, the more realistic one, I think. See your tail lights with your reverse light strobes. And of course, your siren. We'll see the different sounds. Um, each press after that, a lock in a tone. Next press turns it completely off. So, there you have it. Uh, it'll look good parked next to your other car I built you. Um, like I said, it turned out really nice. I know you're going to love it when you see it in person. Uh, I will tell you this antenna, I'm going to have to take it off. Because the box, when you ship these, the box, the top of the box barely touches this. And if it comes off in shipping, it may get lost in the box. I'll put it in a little paper bag. Or, I'm sorry, a little Ziploc bag. It won't hurt anything when it comes off because of the glue I use. Uh, it's like a rubber cement. Um, E6000 is what it's called, available at Walmart. Uh, but it won't, as you can see, doesn't mess the paint up or anything. Don't get it on the plastic. <laughs> it will definitely dissolve the plastic. Uh, but like I said, it doesn't do anything to the paint at all. If it does leave a little piece on there, it'll rub right off. So, again, I will put this in Antonio in a uh, Ziploc bag, and it'll be stapled to the, uh, the box. When you take the car out of the, uh, the package, the, the factory packaging, it'll be stapled to the back. I'll have my business card stapled to the back, and you'll see a little Ziploc baggie with this uh, uh, Antony uh, stapled in as well. So... Chris, appreciate it. Uh, I know it seems like it takes forever to get these from me when a uh, customer places an order. I apologize. I guess there's a couple reasons that it takes me so long to build them. Number one, I just have a lot of orders. Number two, I take my time with them. Uh, I want everybody in this car to be as nice as this. I, I was building it for myself. Uh, I refuse to just throw a vehicle together. Uh, so for you potential customers out there that want to order one, um, you know, looking at probably three months uh, to get it shipped to you, uh, or you know, plus. You know, it just depends on what I've got going on. I do work a full-time job as well as this. So, um, you know, it keeps me pretty busy. So, anyway, Chris, appreciate it um, uh, for the second order. And like I said, you know, come up, switch departments again, or, uh, you know, have a uh, another car you want built, let me know. I can definitely do that red charger for you just bought uh, if you like headlights and taillights in it. And um, other than that, I suppose that's it. So we'll get this uh, get your video sent to you. And we'll go from there. Thank you very much. Uh, stay safe.